Hey guys, Tony T here, and today we're going to play some Prison Architect. Now, I have played Prison Architect before, and I have some prisons, as you can see here. Um, but this is going to be the first one that I'm going to make a prison and record in. Um, now, let's play a medium prison, and I think we'll have Fog of War just to have a bit of a challenge. We'll hit play, and we'll pause the game immediately before our workers can even get in. We'll go to reports and accept a few grants so we can get some money early on. Now, uh, a couple of important things while we're making our prison is planning is really important because when you're making your prison, you need to plan efficiently and put things in certain places in order for your prison to uh, function effectively. So I'm going to get right to planning and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so while you guys are watching me plan out the prison, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about how to lay out your prison effectively. Now, one of the most important things that I've learned is that anything that needs deliveries, such as the kitchen, which needs food, and the workshop, which needs sheet metal, should be near the front of the prison, near the deliveries area, so it can be as effective as possible. Now, something like the yard, or the common room, or the shower, should be in the back of your prison because those things don't need maintenance. They don't need any kind of deliveries. They just kind of sit there and get used. Now, the infirmary, I've learned, is best put in a high traffic area, somewhere where your prisoners are always walking back and forth. So that way, if any one of them are injured, when they walk by, the doctors will automatically chase them and heal them up. Now, laundry, which has been a huge problem for me in the past, is... Uh, I can never get the laundry basket to get around the prison, so all my prisoners' needs are met before the clothing hits the critical. So I will recommend you put the laundry room somewhere in the middle of your prison. That way, no one cell is too far away from the laundry. Anyway, uh, I hope this advice helps you. And if you have your own advice, leave it in the comments section below. Alright, so I think I'm done planning now, and... We'll resume the game here and have our workers come in. Fast forward it just a bit. And we gotta wait for uh, some of our supplies to get here so we can get some of that stuff for free. Because right now we don't have anything according to the menu. But uh, I guess first off, we'll make a foundation. Oh, before we make anything, let me give you a tour of the prison. So. Like I said before, one of the key things you need is to have anything that needs deliveries by the deliveries area. And visitation is this room here, right out in the front, so families can come right in through the main gate here. And I have the holding cell right here, fairly big holding cell. Actually, I think it's off. Let me just, yep, there we go. So here's our holding cell, and these are all cells. And I didn't want to draw out every single cell, so these are cells two, and so are these. This big space and this big space, they're both workshops. Uh, workshops are going to be one of the first goals we have, because we're going to have to make money to make the rest of the prison. This is our kitchen, this is our canteen. Our kitchen is fairly close to the deliveries, because they always need deliveries. Cells again, cells again. Uh, this space is storage, right by deliveries, again. Uh, up here is our administration center. Now, really, you only need five offices because those are all your administrators. So you have our warden, the chief, the foreman, the psychologist, and the accountant. That's all five. And this room to the side here is going to be our security room, which a security room is not really important. It doesn't really have a purpose because it says right here, uh, well, not there. Ah. It's under bureaucracy, which I can't see. Okay, so security room is pretty useless, but I'm going to put my CCTV monitors in there because I think we have fog of war on, so that's going to be important. Uh, here is our utilities area. I'm going to put a door here. Uh, staff only, of course. Don't want the prisoners fiddling with the power or water. This, is, this small square is the water pumping station, and the bigger square is going to be the power station. And the reason it's so much bigger 
is because we're going to put capacitors on the planning areas and that right smack in the middle and this right smack there. So that's pretty much the tour of the place. I am missing a few rooms, unfortunately. Um, so if we go over the rooms, we got cells, we got the holding cell. I'm missing solitary, but I'd like solitary to be, you know, somewhere back here because it doesn't really need priority in the front. However, it is necessary, otherwise uh, prisoners that need solitary without having solitary rooms kind of just sit in their cell handcuffed, then their needs get out of control, and they just sit there and don't do anything. Uh, shower we're missing, which is also very important. Again, I want to put it back here because really it needs no maintenance, it doesn't need deliveries. Nope, all safe, so that's fine. Yard, same thing, back here. Storage, we have, right by deliveries. Deliveries we have, and uh, actually we're going to make deliveries a little bit bigger. And make garbage a little bit bigger. Execution, I don't think execution even does anything. Like We don't have the option to kill our prisoners, it's only used in the tutorial. Workshop, uh, we have two workshops here, very important for money. Security room, offices, the infirmary. Infirmary, once again, I want to put back here. Uh, morgue. I actually don't have morgue. I've never needed a morgue because no one died on me, but we'll see what happens. Common room, again, somewhere back here. Uh, laundry, I like to have somewhere in the middle of the prison because those laundry baskets take a while to get to places, and you don't want any one cell too far away from the laundry room. Visitation, we have right in the front. And cleaning cupboard, I'll have somewhere in the back again. Uh, for the meanwhile, we'll have to build temporary shower, yard, and cleaning cupboard. And common room, just temporary in order to, you know, um, satisfy the needs of the prisoners. And then I can move it to where I want. This is going to be an evolving prison. It's going to evolve as we go. And we get money. So first things first, we need to get started on our foundation for the holding cells, I think. So there's a holding cell. And visitation as well. A visitation is not so important that we do need the foundation, but it will serve as a wall for our prisoners not to escape. And also, I need to fence out the whole area. Uh, one of the things I'm concerned about is here is way too close to the edge, the uh, map's edge, which has me sincerely concerned because uh, last time I tried to build on the map's edge, it kind of glitched out. But we'll see what happens. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to hit play, and our workers are going to get to work. Or they can just stand there and wait for the deliveries, that's fine. So let's get ready for our prisoners here. All our material is arriving, which is good. Uh, that's the utilities truck, which is what we were waiting for. So we can get these for free and get them in immediately. So they're quite expensive. And a capacitor. So we can get those in for free. Now we have our workers going to work here. And I think the next thing we should do is get our administration center up and running because that's going to be very very important so I think like that now we only want to put foundations where we need them we don't want to put foundations where we don't need them because then that's just wasted money and money right now is something we just don't have so we're at the fastest speed right now um, let's get some more materials in Brick walls over here. Free brick walls, why not? And our workers are going up. And nobody's installed the power station just yet. But once that's done, we're gonna need the foundations for our first cells. So, actually, uh, those are quite entrances. Let's do that. The entrance to the holding cell is going to be a large jail door over here. And for our visitation, we're going to have a large jail door over here. And probably a normal door here. Which, 
I'm not sure that would be a good idea. We will have a jail door here to prevent them from escaping. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Put that there. I'm gonna go under deployment and set this uh, small room here to staff only because I've learned that uh, when you get um, prison labor and you put them to work in the kitchen, the prisoners are gonna want to pick up deliveries for the kitchen, like this sack of potatoes or cabbages, and they're gonna come out here and bring them into the kitchen. Problem is, once they get out here, uh, the game realizes there's nothing stopping them from escaping, so they just make a run for it. So I don't want them to go to deliveries. Kind of a bad move. Um, okay. So to stop them from escaping, let's put jail door here, jail door here. Okay. Uh, looks like our utilities are in place and working. And this area requires an entrance. So, wait, oh, no, not jail door, a uh, regular door. There we are. And we'll get someone to dismantle these trees, because these trees are in the way. There we are. So, we're going to go to a brick wall. And we're going to break these up. Now, right now, it's free. Because we got a bunch of free bricks, but I'm not sure how long it's going to be free. Walls are actually quite expensive. At 50 square. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're going to go materials. Well, first we'll go to rooms. Materials. Ah, objects. I'm getting lost in the menus. Okay, we'll put those down. Chairs. Filing cabinets in the corner. Oh, we need that storage space, don't we? So we go to rooms, and the storage, lucky for us, doesn't have to be indoors. It's just an area you can designate. So there's storage. And they're going to start moving these bricks and stuff in there because they're just making a mess right now. So we got rooms, office, set all of these to office, there we are, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to set the foundations for our first set of jail cells, I think. Uh, we don't want to over expand right now because we want to keep everything confined, otherwise people will escape. So I think what we're gonna do... Oh, was that thing? Oh, two offices. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this cell block and that'll be enough for now. I think that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's gonna be 12 cells, 12 prisoners, which is a good number. Unfortunately, prisoners come by eights, so we can only get eight, and then, uh, twelve, we'll have four more in the holding cell, which reminds me, holding cell, let's slow down the game, uh, visitation, okay, visitation needs a visitor's table, that's not too important right now. Um, so three hundred dollars that we can keep in our pocket. We need a bench and a toilet to get this thing operational. So let's do that. And this requires an entrance. So I believe I will put the jail cell door here. One two here. One two here. One two here here, and there. We can just replicate that on the other side. There we go. Lights are in. I hate how this game automatically puts lights in, and they usually put them in the wrong spot, because I build a wall right over them, and then the workers take the lights right back out. It also costs money. 
which I do not like. Okay, so holding cells ready. Unfortunately, there's no power anywhere, but uh, we can fix that. So we go to cable, and we can use this as free cable. Save us a little bit of cable there. Uh, power can go that far, and then come down this way. To about there. That's gonna cost us quite a bit of money. Large pipe. Down this way. All the way down. Small pipe. To the toilet. Yep, auto save. Alright, let's come out of utilities and we're gonna get these cells up and running before the, hopefully the prisoners arrive. Luckily, all those walls were free. I don't know how much longer we're gonna have free walls. Looks like we had a fair amount of bricks. I say fair. We got 13 more minutes before the first prisoners arrive. Let's get these walls in place so no one escapes. And I think we'll get these walls in place too. We're gonna have to start paying for walls soon, I think. Yep, there it is. So we just spent a thousand dollars on walls. God damn it. So these prisoner, um, not prisoners, these workmen are working quite slow. Unfortunately. I don't know what they're doing. Work faster. Luckily we can control our intake, but I do want to get prisoners as fast as possible, but if we're not ready to take prisoners, then I might have to wait till day two to get prisoners. Or actually day three. Because we'll get the prisoners on day two, won't we? Okay, um... Let's see. So we need a shower, a yard, a kitchen, canteen, two guards, two chefs. Wait a minute. Oh, that won't do anything for us. We got that money. If we do these two, we can get more money. So if we raise to 15, we already got 12, which is good. So if we can raise it to 15, we might as well. I'm gonna cancel those walls because we're gonna get free walls. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. And hopefully that'll get to 15. Um, workers are working very slowly. And I'll speed things up a bit. And those doors are lit. That door just got into place, really? Oh no, wait. Okay, that was a pipe. Okay, you guys are working so slow, it's ridiculous. We may have to delay the um, prisoners intake, which I really don't want to do, but we kind of don't have a choice. These guys are taking a while. There we go, they're getting started on this foundation. Very good. Work faster, god damn it. I pay you by the hour, so you better do work. Actually, I pay you by the day. Okay, objects, door. Wait for them to finish. Looks like they're finished. So you guys get those in there. Okay, so the holding cell is ready if we want to take prisoners, but even if we do take prisoners. There's nothing here for them. There's no food. There's not even any water yet. They can't even use the toilet. So I think we have no choice but to delay it one more day. Which is a shame because uh, we're just gonna lose a lot of money off these workmen. Unless we can. S well, we're not gonna sack all of them. We kinda need them. So, most of their jobs are done. So 
go to materials, brick wall. Let's fill in these rooms here. It's gonna cost us quite a bit of money. And the most expensive part is to put beds and toilets in. And actually, ah, damn, I forgot something really important. If I'm gonna run plumbing to the toilets, they can't reach these weird cross sections, so I actually have to go to materials and break these walls down here so my workmen can actually reach the place, which is a problem because that's a little bit of waste of money, which I do not like. So we'll get this plumbing in. Go back to uh, objects. Get the toilets in. And beds. I swear, beds are the most expensive part of this game. Every prisoner needs a bed. And it costs two hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. That's what I said about the lights before. And just take away the lights. Oh, walk through the wall. That makes perfect sense. God damn it. <laughs> okay, there we are. We'll go back to utilities and small pipe this. Now they got some plumbing. What are you out here for? Oh, you're going around. I wish you really wouldn't. Fast forward. Okay. Uh, next thing's next. We need a canteen. Now, serving tables go across this wall here. So, we'll leave one gap space, and then we'll put our serving tables here. I did plan out the serving tables. We should have enough for four. And then we go down, repeating the process, but we shouldn't need more than that right now. So, we can expand the canteen as we go, but for now, this will do. There we are. What else do we need? Uh, yard. Easy enough. I'll just fence off an area. Uh, shower. We need a temporary shower. Before we build the main shower somewhere back there. Might turn one of these areas into a temporary shower. We'll see how that goes. Um, so far so good. Again, I think we might have to delay the prisoners. Hmm, if we're only missing a shower, maybe we don't have to delay it, but if we're missing the canteen, I think I'll delay it. Canteen should be going in soon. Hopefully, so I'll tell you what, we won't delay the prisoners. Come on, workers, hurry up. There we go, someone's already started. I need that canteen, and I need this plumbing in. So let's see. I can put this. I can put the walls back in now. And someone puts this part in, which it's green. So someone's doing that now. Oh, there you are. I put that wall back in. A little bit of waste of money, but we'll get ten grand once we get this done. Health and well-being we need to do. We really need a psychologist, don't we? Um, I guess I'll get our warden in. Hello, warden. Go to bureaucracy. And we will get finance, I think. And then we can get mental health. Hmm, what else do we need? Deployment is essential. CCTV, we're going to need. Fog of war is going to be on. Ah, right there. What I was talking about before, security room, which serves no purpose. Uh, we're going to need prison labor for money. So, I think that will do for now. Another thing I've noticed is that if you guys are in this menu, lockdown and bang up can still be accessed for some reason. So... When you close the bureaucracy menu, some people actually accidentally send their prison into bang up, so 
I kind of just go over here to close it. A little bit annoying. 